Good morning everyone and thank you for joining us on the Polymer Update News Show. It is Saturday, September 15th. This is Simran Chaudhary in Mumbai. Today we bring to you a special report consisting of global market synopsis of polymers spanning three major markets, Asia, Europe and the USA. In Asia, LTPE prices gained in the South Asian region. Robust import offers from overseas producers and deals concluded at higher price levels in the region together supported the price rise. In LDPE, LLGPE spot prices were assessed lower in Far East Asia. The price fall was on the back of weaker LLGPE futures on the Dalian Commodity Exchange in China, coupled with continued dull regional buying sentiments. Certain HTPE grade prices were assessed lower in the Far East and Southeast Asian regions this week. The price fall was attributed to weaker demand sentiments and deals concluded at lower price levels in the region. This week, PP prices gained in the Far East and Southeast Asian regions. The price rise was in line with the lift in buying sentiments alongside higher PP futures on the Dalian Commodity Exchange in China. This week, PVC prices inched lower in Asia, falling on the back of persistently sluggish buying sentiments. The buying mood in key regional markets like China and India was seen as particularly bleak, forcing sellers to revise their spot offer prices lower. In PS, PS prices journeyed south in Asia this week. The price fall was a result of weaker upstream SM values coupled with dull demand trends across the Asian region. ABS prices witnessed a steep fall in Asia this week, a sharp drop in upstream butadiene and SM values coupled with bearish buying sentiments pulled ABS prices lower across the Asian region. Despite weaker PTA and MEG feedstock rates, PET bottle grade prices were assessed steady in the Northeast and Southeast Asian region this week. In Europe, spot LDPE prices down adjusted in Europe this week. Reports of plentiful regional product availability pressure the prices to fall. Despite surplus regional product availability, LLDPE prices were assessed steady in Europe this week. HDPE spot prices inched lower in Europe this week. An increase in product availability pulled the prices lower in the spot markets. Despite higher PP feedstock values, PP prices were assessed stable in Europe. Regional buying trends were reported as dull amid plentiful product availability. PVC spot prices were assessed lower in Europe this week. Bearish global queues forced sellers of PVC to reduce their prices in the spot markets. PS contract prices climbed in Europe. The price rise was in line with a sharp gain in SM feedstock contract rates for the month of September. ABS spot and contract prices inched higher in Europe this week. Bullish upstream SM and butadiene contract rates for the month of September helped sellers of ABS to hike their prices across the European region. Bottle grade PET contract prices firmed in Europe. In US, despite bullish ethylene spot and contract rates, LGPE export prices were assessed stable in the US this week. Buying trends were reported as dull from the overseas markets. LLDPE export prices gained in the US this week. Firmer upstream ethylene spot and contract values help sellers of LLDPE to raise their prices. Although prices of upstream ethylene firmed, HTP export prices dropped in the US this week. The price fall was supported by weaker demand trends from the overseas markets. Firmer polymer grade propylene spot and contract rates pushed PP export prices higher in the USA this week. The price rise was also supported by limited product availability. The export prices for PVC were assessed flat this week across the US in the face of sluggish global demand and pricing trends. Despite a steep weekly fall in upstream SM values, EBS prices in the US were assessed steady for the week. PS export prices were revised slower in the US this week. The price fall was triggered by weaker overseas demand trends coupled with bearish upstream SM values. That is all for today's Polymer News. We are also taking comments and questions from our viewers. So make sure you drop an email to info at polymerupdate.com. Many thanks for watching. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash polymerupdate and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at Polymer Update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.